Good morning, JD Aliens. What's going on, man? I just uh, wanted to make a quick one, uh, kind of almost behind the scenes of my typical videos because I just I have this question in my head that I feel like I need to share with you guys and we could talk this out together in the comments below. So uh, recently I've been hot and heavy on a few products called uh, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, the uh, Sa uh, not Samsung, uh, Sony XM4s, the Galaxy Watch, and the Galaxy Buds. Galaxy Buds won't count in this because they are truly different than any other product out there. Well, maybe not, but truly different than the, the normal, I guess. But the phone, the headphones, and the watch, they're all new, but are they better? And that begs the question, does new always mean better? I mean, take a look at this, man. We got two sets of headphones, two phones here, and three watches. Uh, two of the watches are from the same, same cycle. These are both Galaxy S3s, or not Galaxy S3s, but uh, Samsung Gear S3 smartwatches, right? They're both great watches even to purchase in the year of 2020. And I just bought this one recently when I did my Galaxy uh, my Galaxy Note 20 order. And this is the Galaxy Watch 3. Now, when I did the review of the watch, I did say at the end of the video that it is not worth the upgrade from the S3 to the Watch 3 uh, simply because it's just a couple of software updates. I mean, you lose out on on the uh, the MST MST is in these two watches uh, and that that's uh, works with Samsung Pay that lets Samsung Pay work pretty much everywhere all you got to do is hold your watch up to the magnetic strip and bam it works this doesn't have that this works just like the Apple Watch and all the other Android watches with Android Pay and stuff so they took away a little bit of functionality I guess to preserve battery life but other than that you do get some software stuff yes 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 you do get the o2 sensor and you know a couple of things like that but in the grand scheme of things uh it, do you really need an o2 sensor or a blood oxygen sensor uh for some people yes so it's totally worth it but for all intents and purposes i didn't feel like it was worth the upgrade here between these two and these watches are like four generations apart so that begs the question does new actually mean better this watch right here the s3 it's still pretty expensive i think this bad boy is still like 350 bucks whereas this one's like a hundred dollars more but let's move on to the headphones yesterday i dropped a video uh for, as a review of the uh, sony xm4 as well as a comparison to the xm3s now y'all know how i feel about this if you had a chance to watch that video i feel like they are the exact same headphones with added technology hardware as in the sensor right here that can detect whether your headphones are on and off your head speak to chat which is um something where the headphones detects you talking and as soon as your jaw moves as soon as the words come out of your mouth the music stops and ambient sound kicks on and yes by the way if you're singing a song with your headphones on it will kick in and your headphones will shut off you can toggle that on and off in the uh, in the app for those of you who've been asking repeatedly. But back to this, so it does have a couple of hardware upgrades, but as far as sound, they sound exactly the same. As far as active noise canceling, they're the exact same. It even says so on the website. There's really no change here. They both use the same uh, chipset and everything. Where the difference is, is the, um, the sound VPT, which is a virtual stage, I guess you would say, uh, via the app that is put into the XM3s. It's not a hardware thing, I don't believe. I don't know. I think it's just a software add-on that's in the app for the XM3s. They actually took it out of the XM4s. I feel like that's a great addition to any headphone. So it's not here. So once again, does new always mean better or is it just kind of more the same with a couple of tweaks that you don't really even need or care about? Now we get to the big boy. This is the most expensive item in this video this is let's put this one here this is the galaxy note 10 plus this is the galaxy note 20 ultra i do have a skin on it by the way you see that color shifting skin you got like a purple and then if you look this way it turns like green there's a gold oh that's a slick cover man anyways uh these two phones were expensive at launch i think this one was like eleven hundred dollars and this one is thirteen hundred dollars as we speak yes there are great deals on them but the real difference comes from what? Uh, this one's 0 .1, 0 0.0 or 0 0.1 inch uh, bigger as far as the screen. Uh, the battery life is a little bit better with the uh, 
uh, Note 10. The camera system, I mean, if you look at it, you would think this one is a lot better. And it probably is. I haven't done a comparison. But do we need that much camera when this one is already great? Some people say, I want the best camera ever. Well, I say go get yourself a point and shoot and keep the phone slim and sexy. I mean, as we get better in cameras, this is what we're going to be left with. These big old camera bumps um, that look like modules. So I think they kind of maxed out the camera capability uh, that you can put in a slim profile on a phone right here on the Note 10. This will be the last of its kind, I'm sure, because we seem to be adopting this massive camera bump, which makes your phone look like a camera that came with a phone attached to the back of it. I've gotten used to it. I'm okay with it now, but this is where we're headed when we talk about better cameras. So is it better? I don't know. That's subjective, right? It does have better photo taking modes in the pro mode uh, with the Note 20 Ultra. I did figure that out. But other than that, as far as camera goes, huh, man, whatever. Once you turn over to the hardware side of things, you'll see all my smudgy fingerprints here. But, you know, we got all the same stuff. It's flip flopped, you know, at the bottom, but everything is still the same. On the top, everything is still the same. They actually downgraded your memory options in the Note 20 Ultra from, uh, I think it's 112 or something like that. And then it jumps all the way up to 512, or it's, I, I can't remember, but it's 100 and something, 128. That's what it is. 128 all the way to 512. There's nothing in between. Here you had three options. So here they took away uh, one of the options, which was a 256, and that's what this variant is. This is a 256 gigabyte phone. So you're getting newer, but you're losing some things here, right? Um, what else was there? Uh, software differences. It's just software. This will be supported for a minimum of two updates. Hopefully they do it for, for three updates, and it already is very close to the experience you'll get with the, uh, the Note 20 ultra so as far as software man as long as you got a fairly recent phone within the last year or two you're gonna have the same software stuff now hardware capability as far as the 120 inch or 120 hertz screen refresh man that is not that big of a deal don't let these youtubers out here tell you that you know you got to have a 120 refresh rate on a phone in order for it, for it to look good man you've been tr just trust me man 120 is great it is a noticeable difference when you compare them side by side with a 60 hertz or even a 90 hertz but it is no way in no fashion a deal breaker because 60 hertz looks fantastic on this beautiful display that the 10 plus has so once again is newer always necessarily better sometimes i feel like you know we have this placebo effect like with these headphones right some people will literally open up their mouths to tell you that the xm4 sounds better than the xm3 i really think that's a placebo like thinking oh i got some new headphones on they're the new sony's it's newer a model up it's upgraded so it just automatically sounds better it doesn't it's, it's the exact same sound right but that placebo kicks in it's like oh this sounds better man it's, it's so much better you know with the phone experience Yes, there are better things in the newer phone, like more features that they've added because they had to, because this one was so great. But is it really better? Is it? Uh, it's a question I've been having on my mind for a long time because people come to my channel asking questions and stuff. Which one over which one should I upgrade? Blah, blah, blah. And a lot of times the answer is no. If you've had the, the consecutive previous model, uh, the answer is usually no, unless they've done something drastic. Now I'm going to do very shortly here a video of the evolution of the note uh and and kind of tell you how the note has progressed over the years but um when, when we're talking about upgrading from one to the next the answer is usually no so is newer always better let me know how you feel in the comment section about this because it's a good topic and a good discussion to have because to me newer is not always better it's either going to be like a lot better <laughs> because you've waited a long time to go new or it's going to be incrementally better meaning that it's just got small tweaks right like what we got with this these this headphone right here and this smartwatch okay it was like small tweaks or it's going to be pretty much the same and it's going to be mostly a placebo effect case in point uh there are companies that are you know smaller tech companies that make headphones such as 
I don't know, Impal or, you know, or Taotronics or something like that. They will literally make a headphone and, you know, like in 2018, right? They'll make a headphone in 2018 and call it XYZ headphone. And then 2019 rolls around, they put the title on Amazon upgraded and nobody knows what the upgraded part is. So I get a lot of comments asking me, hey man, what's the difference between the two? And I'm like, I don't freaking know. <laughs> they ain't changed nothing. And some people will put them on their heads and be like, yeah, these sound better than the last ones. <laughs> it's placebo, man. So it's newer, always better. Let me know in the comments section, man. I'm glad y'all showed up. I got to go to the dentist. I got an appointment. Then I'm come back here and make some real videos for y'all to enjoy. Hey, man, while I'm going, y'all make sure y'all keep being good to each other. And I'll see you when I see you. Oh, so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Is that why you are here?